What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you will learn about basic installation and configuration of common devices. Let's talk about a desktop real quick. So a desktop computer is a personal computer designed for regular use at a single location on or near a desk or table due to its size and power requirements. Within the client server topology, as it directly relates to desktop computers, there are two primary categories for desktop computers, thick client and thin client. Depending upon how much processing a computer does, independent of the server, will place in its respective category. Let's talk about thick clients. So in computer networking, a thick client is a computer that typically provides rich functionality independent of the central server. Thick clients still require a periodic connection to a network or a central server, although it is often characterized by the ability to perform many functions without a connection. Thick clients are often found in the business environment where servers provide some data and application support, but the thick client or the office computer is largely independent. Also, pretty much any computer you buy from a retail store could be qualified as a thick client as well. Thick clients have an operating system and software applications that can be used offline. A few features and benefits of the thick client computers are as follows. So you have desktop applications and the benefits are they perform a broad range of office procedures such as word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, database, email, and calendaring. You have meets the recommended requirements for the selected operating system and the benefits are it provides good performance with basic office tasks. And then you have account settings and the benefits are you get local access or domain account access. Let's talk about a thin client. So in computer networking, a thin client is a simple, low performance computer that has been optimized for establishing a remote connection with the server based computing environment. The server does most of the work, which can include launching software programs, performing calculations and storing data. This contrasts with the fat client or the thick client or a conventional personal computer. The main benefit of a thin client setup is there are improved maintenance and security due to central administration of the hardware and software in the data center. And here are some benefits of a thin client. So you have basic applications and the benefits are it performs basic office procedures such as web browsing, word processing and running spreadsheets. It meets the minimum requirements for using a selected operating system. And the benefits are you can run the operating system at basic performance levels. It provides network connectivity and the benefits are it gives you fast network connection because the server handles most of the computational tasks. And then you have account settings and the benefits are it provides secure authentication. Let's talk about laptop and common mobile devices. So optimizing features on a laptop makes it possible for a user to have an enhanced and often customized experience. While the default settings on the following features will work, customization may provide a better computing experience. Let's talk about touchpad configuration. So customizing the settings on a touchpad in Windows 10 is as follows. You would open the Windows settings and click on devices to open Bluetooth and other devices window. You will select touchpad from the left column. On the right, you will see the sensitivity adjustments and they'll provide you a little video demonstration for how to use the touchpad to where you can select items, scroll, zoom, and then have a myriad of other options to play around with. Customizing touchpad settings on a Mac, you would click the Apple icon in the upper left corner of the screen, select system preferences, and then select trackpad. The Apple trackpad presents different settings and customization options for pointing and clicking, scroll and zoom options, along with other gestures as well. The touchscreen configuration. So touchscreen calibrations are often run during the device setup process. This allows for the user to learn how to interact with the device in addition to learning how sensitive the touchscreen is to his or her touch. 
To calibrate a touch screen, you would follow these steps right here. You would open the control panel and select the tablet PC settings. If that's not present, then check to see if the drivers are present. You would click calibrate and then choose an option for calibrating the system for pin or touch input. You would follow the instructions presented to begin the calibration. And then if satisfied with the settings, you would just go ahead and click yes to save the settings. And finally, let's talk about application installations and configurations. So when installing and configuring applications, a few basic steps apply to all applications. First things first, you want to determine if the PC has enough resources to run the application. If so, then go ahead and download the installation file from a reliable source. Second, you want to find the execution file for the download application. This is usually in the downloads folder. If installing from a USB drive or from an optical drive, you want to locate the execution file on the drive and then follow the preceding steps. You want to double click the execution file to run the setup program and see a dialog box asking for storage and shortcut preferences. You'll then be presented an option to choose between an automatic install or a custom install. Automatic installs are typically fine in most cases, unless there are certain settings that need to be altered. And then finally, you want to follow the instructions and complete the installation and then reboot the computer if necessary. All right, so normally I do a check on learning, but since this was a very short presentation, we're just gonna skip that part and jump straight to the summary. So in summary, we have talked about the basic installation and configuration of common devices. Now, if you felt like you have gotten something valuable from this information, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go visit my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you succeed successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.